good day viewers introduction to mathematics ss3 class topics to be treated log reading we have source as the second one the third one is arithmetic of finance the fourth one is matrices and determinants the fifth one is application of linear and quadratic equations to capital markets then the next one is trigonometry involving graphs the next one is surface area and volume of spheres then the next one is longitude and latitude then the next one is coordinate geometry of straight line then the second to the last year will be differentiation of algebraic fraction then the last but not the least is integration of simple algebraic functions now, the first topic is log reading. Here, yeah, I'm not to solve questions, but just to agitate your mind. Since we have done this extensively in the SS2 class, so this is um, log reading, but this, this pattern, we are to use the tables. Why this one? We can solve this one directly without the use of the table. So simply, when you have this, you have to compute your number log where 1.092 will be the first value then the second value is 0 0.00864 then we try to resolve this by looking for we check for the log reading of numbers automatically one point will definitely be zero point then we check 10 109 difference two we have the value here then here we have bar three then we check 86 log reading of number 86 under four we have the value then since you have cube root, so we have, uh, I said cube root, we have fourth root here. So since we have a multiplication sign between the two values that we have determined their log reading, so what we are meant to do is to add this up, then we write our result here. And since we have a fourth root, so automatically whatever we have as our result, we are meant to divide by four. Then that's the numerator as the result. Then we tackle, we go to the denominator too. In the denominator, we have 72.94. So here, 72.94, we it will be three points. 72 under nine difference four. We write our values. Then we also 63.85. Here, this one will be one point. 63 under eight difference five. We write our values. And since we have a division, we are meant to subtract. We subtract these two two values from each other, as in the logarithm of these two values. And whatever we have as our result, we divide by 2. Then, since we have this, which is the last one, we also 9.732. 9.732. Then, this one will be 0 points. We check 97 under 3 difference 2. We write our values. And since between these two terms, we have a multiplication sign. So, whatever we have as our answer here, and whatever we have as our answer, we will add them up and we get the overall. Then, now, since we have been able to resolve our numerator and our denominator, the next thing to do is that the difference between our numerator and denominator is the division sign. So whatever we, we have as our numerator, the norm, the value of our norm, and the value of our d, then, in this situation, since we have a division, we subtract. So whatever we have as our final answer, then we are meant to trace it to the antilog of numbers. And that is the simple revision for the use of um, tables to determine the log reading of a scenario of this kind. Then in the other case, in the other case, you have given that log x base 2 plus log 81 base 3 equals to 1. Find x. In this situation, we have this scenario where we have log x base 2 plus log 81 base 3 equals to 1. So the simple way of attempting this is simply we can say log x base 2 plus this one can simply be log 81 is 3 raised to the power 4. And we have a base 3 equals to 1. And remember that in log reading, where you have log of m raised to the power p, it can simply be written as p log m. 
So there's a particular law of logarithm that implies that. So automatically, here we can resolve that. We have log x base 2, then this one will be plus 3 into log 3 base 3, which is equal to 1. So here we have, remember that the log of the same base is 1. So automatically we can write log x base 2 plus 3 into log of the same base, which is 1, equals to 1. Hey, sorry, this is 4. So there's a mistake here. So what we have here is 4, not 3. We have 4. So automatically, what we have here definitely should be 4 too. So here we have this. Then if we continue from here, we have log x base 2. Then plus 4 times 1, 4 equals to 1. So automatically, we can say log x base 2 will now be 1 minus 4. And that will be log x base 2 equals to minus 3. Then we continue from here. We have log x base 2 equals to minus 3. Recall that, recall that log ax equals to b is simply can be written as x equals to a raised to power b. It's another fundamental principle in log concept. So we can use that principle here. x over 2 equals to minus 3. Then we'll bring this, this one to leave this. We have x equals to 3 raised to power minus 2. Uh, 2 raised to power minus 3, rather. Then by law of indices, we say that x minus a is equal to 1 over x raised to power a. Then we can apply that here. Then it should be x equals to 1 over 2 raised to power 3, which is 1 over 2 times 2 times 2. And that x will be 1 over 8. So definitely, definitely our x is 1 over 8. Then the example 3 under this same log reading is evaluate log 0 0.3 base 4 minus log 0 0.48 base 4 plus log 0 0.05 base 4. So here we have to evaluate this. Log 0 0.3 can be written as log 3 over 10, base 4. Then minus log 0 0.48 can be written as 48 over 100, base 4. Then plus log 0 0.05 can be written as 5 over 100, base 4. Recall that in log reading, we have log a minus log B can be written as log A divided by B, while log A plus log B can be written as log A times B. So we can apply that log, uh, this laws of log reading here. So if we have to apply this law of log reading here, then we have log 4. It will be 3 over 10 divided by 48, um, 48 over 100. Then this one will be multiplied by 5 over 100. So here, log 3 over 10 times, when we change this one to multiplication, 100 comes up, then 48 comes down. Multiply by 5 over 100. Then this one is 4. So here, this 100 can cancel this 100. 5 year 1, 5 year 2. Then automatically, we are going to have log 3 over, this one will be 6. This one will be 6. That's 96. This 4. That will be 96, uh, 3 over 96 base 4. Can, 3 should, 3 year 1, 3 in this, we have 3 year 1, 3 in this, 3 year 1, 3 in this, we have 3, 2, that's 32. So we have log 1 over 32 base 4. So automatically, we can write this as log 32 raised to the power minus 1 base 4. Then here we now have, we can write this one as log 
32 can be written as 20, uh, 2 raised to the power 5, affected by minus 1 over 4, and um, this 4. So here we now have log 2 raised to the power 5, um, 5 times minus 1. Then this 4 can be written as 2 raised to the power 2. Then by moving on, we have log 2 raised to the power minus 5 over um, base log 2 raised to the power 2. Recall that log m raised to the power p is the same thing as p log m. Is the same thing as p log m. Then we also know that log x a, uh, base a raised to the power b can be written as 1 over b log x b a. That is log x base a. So since we know these two concepts, automatically we can evaluate this. We know that this is equal to this, and we know that this is equal to this. So automatically that means log 2 raised to the power minus 5 base 2 raised to the power 2 can be written as this minus comes here as the numerator. This 2 comes as the denominator. So now we have log 2 base 2. And log of the same base is 1. So minus 5 over 2 times 1, then that would be minus 5 over 2. So the answer would definitely be minus 5 over 2. And that is the answer to question 3. Now, the second topic here is we have sorts. What are sorts? These are numbers that do not have